Hey everyone, what's up? This is Blaze. Welcome to just a quick video going over some of the drops from Aphrodite. So as you know, Test Realm is down for now, and I think it's going to be down until they decide to push it into Live Realm. And uh, it says on the website that they're doing internal testing. So probably, I don't know, could be the end of this week, but I'm kind of thinking it's going to be on Monday. So Test Realm is done for now, and we're just waiting for this to hit Live Realm, which will be really exciting because I really want to start jewel farming and everything. So, in this video, I'm just going to be going over some of the drops that I got from Aphrodite on the stream that we did on Monday. In the background, I'm just showing one of the battles that we did with her. So, starting off, we have the Staff of Aphrodite's Song, which was the Life Wand that I was able to get as a drop. And the best thing about this is it gives the 10 energy. So, I'll probably be adding this to my energy set just for that 10 energy. The other stats aren't really good, so you wouldn't really use this for... A like battle type of wand. I mean, may cast life blade could be good, but I don't really see it being that useful, at least for me. So I'll probably just be using this as an energy, 10 energy type of uh, wand. The other one is going to be after that evergreen band, which is the ring. And this one also gives energy, 8 energy. So I'll have to compare that to my other energy ring and see if it's better. But uh, probably the best thing here is the sockets, has three sockets and the 70 life crit. However, I won't be using this because the 35 outgoing of the Ring of the Dying Star, which is from Morganth, is just too much better than the outgoing and incoming of this band. Because, you know, I just I can get like a ton of outgoing with my current set. And, I don't know, I'm pretty much going Jade and healing on my life character. So, I'll probably be sticking with the Ring of the Dying Star, which has one socket. The Evergreen band has three sockets. So, I don't know. That doesn't really matter. It just depends what kind of jewels you get, you know, if you get lucky with a good jewel or not. So I'm going to be sticking with the Ring of the Dying Star, but here is the Evergreen Band, which is Life School only that she drops. And the final piece of gear that we got that I wanted to look at was the Aphrodite Stinging Nettle. I think this is the best drop that I've seen from her so far. It gives uh, 6 energy, which I think all of her gear gives energy, so that's awesome. And it also gives 23% to each of the Spirit Schools, which 23% resist, I mean. So when I first saw this a theme, I was like, wait, is this real? Because 23% resist every spirit school is really good. That gives my resist for those schools up to like 98%. And if I had a better pet, a better Jade pet than Sasha, I mean, she heals a ton, so she's pretty good at healing, but she only has 10% resist. If I had 15% resist on her, then I would have over 100% to all of the uh, spirit schools. So that's kind of what I'll go for. Maybe this will influence me to go for a better pet. And uh, I think this... A theme is just really good for Jade people. So this would probably be the theme that people go for and use when they're fighting like death, life, or myth bosses in the future. So really good a theme here that is dropped from her and it's for every school. So the last thing that she drops that I've seen so far is a life spell that I don't know, I don't really need it for my life character, but it'd be kind of cool to get. So whenever I farm Aphrodite, I'll probably be farming on my life character. I mean, of course, because I want this Aphrodite Sting Nettle and it's no trade, so I have to get it on my life character. And uh, of course, you can't trade spells either, so if I got the life spell, that'd be pretty cool to have it on my life character, but it's not really necessary. I kind of would rather have the storm spell on my storm and be farming for that. If I had to, if I had to choose like which spell drop I wanted, I would say the storm one on my storm would be great, but uh, if I get the life spell, that'd be kind of cool when we farm her on the uh, live realm. Whenever that decides to happen. So that's basically just me going over some of the drops. If you know of any more drops, go ahead and put it in the comments. So these are the drops that we found so far. I'll definitely be farming for some of these because they're really good just for energy. And of course, the theme is just good for my Jade set. But that's going to do it for this video. So hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, hope you guys are excited as I am for this being brought into the live realm soon. And, uh, you know, happy farming with all the stuff with jewels and the new gear and all that kind of stuff. So that's going to be it for me today. Leave a like if you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.